We will have a word with the panel in just a second, but uh, I suppose the man of the match, really, Ian Rush, with two goals today, uh, is down there talking with Bob. Two more goals, Ian. Absolutely fantastic. The story goes on and on and on. Yeah, I thought the lads played brilliantly. Um, I think early on in the season, people were having to go to us. And, um, so to say, um, people I went through a bad spell where I went eight games out of goal and people started slagging me off. And um, I think um, I've got them to thank for, um, for us coming better and for myself. And uh, everyone said, no, I was right in the pool off and we just carried on. And for us to do the double, it's nothing short of unbelievable. No, it's a fantastic achievement. But uh, what were your thoughts when uh, Everton took the lead? Um, I thought we had better, um, until they scored, we had better the game. And um, we just sort of try and kept going and say uh, Lineker scored a goal, which was absolutely magnificent. To say you can't give him half a yard. And um, Bruce nearly got to it, but second attempt, Lineker just pounced on it and went in. And we went in half time, knowing that we had a lot of the game, but we just couldn't get the ball back in the net. And we knew if we got a goal, um, we'd have a great chance of winning. Well, Bruce is here. Bruce, come in because we're, congratulations Thank to you. you. And uh, we're going to have a look at Ian's goals here, which I'm sure you'll be able to uh, talk through between you. Yeah, I've so, yeah, seen Jan put the ball through there, and um, I've seen the keeper come now, so I just touched it past him. And uh, there's an empty goal there. There's a lot of grass. I didn't think it was going in for the Craig, moment. Craig's Craig, uh, Craig starting to try and claim that. No, he? You no, actually, no, he didn't no. even get a touch to it. Oh, bad luck. Craig was yeah, there. so it's over the line. So I'm claiming that. <laughs> Claim oh. everything else anyway. Well, that's the first <laughs> one. And then this is the one that really wrapped it all up. Yeah, of course, I see uh, Ronnie Whelan, the uh, sin lock up. So I just controlled it and uh, just just lashed it really. And fortunately for me, went back of the net. And. Uh, you just said a few moments ago, here we've got the cup with us now. Yeah. Bruce, you said a few moments ago, rather, Ian, you said that uh, Liverpool had had a lot of stick. You're the fellow who had a lot of stick along the route as well. But you had a save that, I think, turned the game at one all. Well, um, what I know about that uh, save, I was coming out to receive a ball from one of uh, our players. I think it was Jockey Hansen, but he just scooped it back uh, across the goal. And uh, Graham, shot, sure. shot was so good in the air, and he just put it toward goal. And, I know uh, all the crowd behind us. Uh, Bruce were all sh already shouting goal. Well, I had to get to it. The kangaroo leap from Lou here. You know, he taught me how to leap. <laughs> the kangaroo leap from, from Craig, you taught him that? I did, yes, yes, in yeah. my younger days. I, can I just say hello to my mum and dad in Australia and all my mates? Because I know they're sitting oh, up watching. No! No, I really want to. No, I said hello to my wife before, but they're a long way yeah, away and they're sitting up watching. Well, I'm yeah. sure that's fine. But Bruce, we have evidently just got your say because mm. I, I do believe that it turned the game very much so because it was one all at the time. We and uh, he here we have a chance just... See, yeah, I came over to the uh, yeah. six-yard box. You're out of position, aren't you? Out of position. And Sharpie, tremendous header. He got it up there. He jumped and, out the uh, bushes then, though. Well, <laughs> he jumped out the bush and here. The bushes was in, mister. Well, <laughs> you learned that in the jungle. No, I had to get over the bar, because if I tried to catch that thing, I would have gone into the back of the net. <laughs> it's a I <laughs> fantastic achievement, lads. Many congratu congratulations to all of you. Thanks. Thank you very much, Bob. Well, they're in tremendous form, and why wouldn't uh, they be? And, of course, Emmeline Hughes here is in tremendous form now as well. You were just beginning to doubt them, I think, at one stage, Emmeline. Yeah, they've... Uh... As Kenny said, they, they started off quite well, Liverpool, first half. For the first quarter of an hour, started to play well. Everton got into the game, got on top, and for the next 40 minutes, Everton looked the only winners of the match. The substitution made the whole of the difference. Liverpool had just scored the first goal, just got into the game, and then Everton made... I mean, Howard Kendall made a substitution that we talked about for an awful long time. Stevens went off. He's pulled off, he's pulled off a, a defender when they're only 2-1 down, there's still 20 minutes to go, and he's pulled off a defender who probably is the fittest player in the Everton squad. I mean, Andy would say that as well. Yeah, you know, he's, and he, he's pulled him off. And he's I wonder if that was purely tactical or whether perhaps he had a, a little bit of an injury. Well, we don't know. Well, no, yeah, we I, would don't have, know. I would have thought there must have been some doubt about him because, to me, the second half, Mountfield wasn't fit. Um, he looked, the, 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 the long ball that went to Rush should have been his ball easily and he's come away from it, he wasn't sure about it. And then from then, at once, I felt that they'd done terrific at Liverpool, a wonderful uh, achievement. But let's be fair, the two goals came up against the run of play yeah. and then once they had the smell of blood up their nose, then they really played. But before that, I felt 20 minutes, I haven't seen Liverpool make so many mistakes. I mean, Hanson putting that ball across the goal. They were playing little short passes and Lawrence made a lot of mistakes. And least. then he was fighting with his left back, the, the goalkeeper, and um, perhaps that woke them all up when he yeah. started fighting with, with his own players. But in the end, they've done terrific. But let's be fair, I think that um, I thought, let's have a little thought for Everton, because I thought they, they played very well today. Now, you're a man here, well, looking at strikers as well as anything else. Um, tell us your thoughts now about how you thought Lineker played and, and of course, Rush. 
I thought, I must say, looking around the, 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 the game, if you look at Liverpool, there's not many really good at individual performances today. And Everton needs, and it's been a great game because the goals are the way they've come. But there's one above all, everybody else. I felt Rush, for me, was outstanding Tremendous. today. Yeah. Even when they weren't playing well in the first half, He's he was stopping the pass back to the goalkeeper. He was working on, never stopped. And he looked sharp, and he wanted to score. He looked like he... And, yeah. and, and I felt that, uh, you know, I was a bit... He didn't pay a bit more attention to that third effort. That's he right. could have had an hat trick there, didn't he? Yeah. He just looked like he wanted to score a good goal instead of, which is not like him. But I thought he was excellent today. That would have been the first hat trick in over 30 odd years with Mortensen the last, as John Moss was That's saying. Right. Yeah. Um, Andy, obviously you'll know just how disappointed the Everton boys would be here. Oh, today. They'll, they'll be absolutely unbelievably disappointed. Uh, there's as we said, but though, I mean, when the game started second half, it looked all as if it was going Everton's way. Um, there was no ink up until they scored. Russia got the first goal. There wasn't, I didn't even think it looked, they looked like they were going to get one. And then all of a sudden, if it Everton way, a one two, and within six minutes, they're two up. But I gave them a bit of substitution. I, I think maybe Howard played his, his card a little bit early. I thought at 2 1, they still, Everton was still good enough to maybe get back in the game. But the substitution seemed to just throw the game back it was at a Liverpool. a funny substitution to make. Even even if he he was injured, if you know what I mean, injured, yeah. he's pulled off he's pulled off a player that isn't. I mean, he's an absolute fitness fanatic, Gary Stevens. I mean, he can run. For, yeah, that is his strength. We said there might be. He might be. He's, he's, he's got, to, he's got to have been injured. He's played a game. He's, put three, he's played three against two at the yeah. at the back, yeah. uh, just to make just to think. Well, we've still got a bit of insurance. Right. But then the space has got bigger for yeah. them to run into, yeah. and it was a game who was going to score. Adrian Heath comes on, and I thought he'd give them a lot of quality, yeah. Yeah. and I thought that, he, for me, he's, as I said before, he's a good player, and he could have done... Lineker gets a good chance, and his first touch uh, yeah. lets him down again, okay, and then yeah. it went their way again. That's Can right. we just have a word about Mulby, who was obviously one of the stars of this match, involved in two goals, and could have could have got one himself, too. Could have got one himself, mm. yeah. He's, he's done well, actually. He's, he's played in little bits of fits and starts the first half. He's been in, as Liverpool were in and yeah. out of the game, and nobody really dominated, as, as Terry said. No no one individual stood out in the Liverpool performance, but Mulby's done as, as well as anybody. I yeah, thought. he's done oh, well. I think the other thing we must... We, I thought... Uh, I would, I'd be interested to see again. I thought Kenny Dalglish could have been offside for the second goal. Well, we can't have a look at that now, because mm. we're almost out of time, Terry. But yeah. we'll just have a but final... Anyway, but before, we, yeah. before we finish, you've got, to say that. you've got to say how magnificent Liverpool have done. You know, I mean, oh, to win, the, to win a double... We don't stop saying it. It's, 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 it's incredible. Absolutely, absolutely superb fabulous. day for them, and a superb day for the game, I for think, the game, too, because yeah, that's very a, important. An absolutely, absolutely wonderful cup final yes. and, a, and a splendid day. And Liverpool have done the double, the first club to do that since uh, Arsenal did it back in 1971, only the third this century and only the fifth overall. Aberdeen's day north of the border, but here Liverpool's day, Liverpool's season, I suppose. I hope you've enjoyed the cup final with us. From all of us, enjoy the goals again. Goodbye. Lineker off through the centre again. This is promising. Lineker for Everton. Saved by Gobbala. Lineker, 1-0 to Everton. Here's Whelan. Mulby, and here's Rush, onside, Ian Rush, goal! Here's Rush, Dalgleish is up, so is Mulby here. Dalgleish, no Johnston, yes! 2-1 to Liverpool! Mulby again, oh I say, his vision there was lovely, Whelan. And Dalgley and rushes on the far side. Is this three? It is!